Right, I think uh, everything looks okay, guys. Does that look fine to you? Um, I guess so. It should should be big enough. Like uh, I, I expect can... nobody nobody's watching on on their phone. As soon as, then... as soon as you want to do a close up on something, I'll just make you bigger. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I guess we can do an official introduction now. Yeah. So <laughs> now I mean, everything's set up. When we did the last um, stream together, you mentioned that you you had a new product come in, but obviously um, we couldn't talk about it back then. It was all NDA'd, but I, I take it it just released recently, right? Uh, yes, actually. Uh, they just released a couple of weeks ago. Um, we had to fight uh, the current delays that we unfortunately have to live with uh, because the logistics situation is still pretty bad. I think that's a topic I touched on last time I was here. Um, but after some delays, finally, uh, Be Quiet managed to release their first fan with ARGB lighting, uh, which is a huge step for us. And uh, I want to preface this with uh, anyone who doesn't like RGB, don't worry. We're not going full unicorn vomit. <laughs> uh, but a lot of people are asking for this, and um, I think that we're still train staying true to the Be Quiet brands with this fan, and I'll uh, explain why, if you let me. Well, I have one question straight away, though. You know you said sure. for people who don't like RGB, do you make this the exact same fan, but without the RGB? Oh, that's a great question, um, which I would probably have touched on later, but uh, sure. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, no, and that is not possible. And that is a big part of why we made the fans the way they are. Um, because, well, um, I'm just going to show them here. I've got the uh, 140 and 120 millimeter versions right here. Um, and well, a bigger fan to explain. So you've got this light ring. And uh, because you have this light LED ring, uh, the impeller, the actual fan, needs to be smaller. And a smaller fan, uh, can't perform as well as a bigger fan. So by default, ARGB fans can't perform as well as a, the equivalent non-RGB fan with a bigger impeller. That makes um, sense. That's, that's always a trade-off that you have to make. So no, um, this this fan is like that's actually a question that we are, we're getting a lot. Like, is this based on the Pure Wings Two series or is this based on the Silent Wings series, which are the more popular uh, fans uh, from Be Quiet? And the answer is no, it's a completely new series. Uh, Performance-wise, it is somewhere in between Pure Wings 2 and Light Wings, so not exactly essential, but also not exactly high-end. Um, when you put it in perspective with a regular fan. Um, the original intention, however, was uh, that the fan would be on the level of Pure Wings 2 performance. Uh, we didn't quite get there. It turned actually out to be better. Uh, which we are also very happy about. Wait, it's better? Um, it's better than the Pure Wings 2, yes. Um, and we have achieved this uh, with another novelty for Be Quiet, which is a very high RPM. Um, the, um, we, we have um, two different versions of these fans. Well, first of all, we have the 120 and 140 millimeter diameters. Uh, but then we also have a seven blade version um, which is uh, intended as a case fan. And then we have a nine blade high speed version, which is intended as a radi radi radiator fan because of the uh, additional fan blades and the uh, higher RPM, it's, it's uh, possible to build up much higher static pressure. So um, the highest RPM is actually uh, the 120 millimeter high speed uh, light wings fan with 2,500 RPM. And that's, uh, as I said, a novelty for Be Quiet, because at 2,500 RPM, you're not really that quiet anymore. Um, but um, and I'm, I'm happy that I can tell you that uh, our internal tests got confirmed by independent outlets. There's a few tests out there that actually do confirm that we are sometimes able to, under certain conditions, to go head-to-head -head with non-RGB fans, and that when compared to other ARGB fans, uh, our light wings are actually uh, one of the best performing ones um, as long as you noise normalize it. And I mean, 
that's what matters at the end, I guess. So if you test two fans uh, and then increase the RPM as, uh, so they have the same noise output, our fans are usually performing better than other ARGB fans. That's, um, that's pretty good. I am, I am curious, because if you look at the fan, like when you showed it then, I am curious as to why the actual blade has got those um, ridges all over it. Uh, yeah, the ridges are, of course, to reduce the uh, well, the noise that these blades make when they cut through the air. So that's something that all our fans have, and it's a pretty standard feature. So, um, so we we had in mind to not just make an ARGB fan, but to uh, actually make an... Well, that's why I call it a, our first fan with ARGB lighting, because at its core, it's still a Be Quiet fan. It's got great performance. It is fairly silent. Um, but then we also have the added RGB, of course. Um, so it's it's supposed the the compromise between well, great looks and noise and performance should be as little as possible. That was our goal. So um, yeah, and then uh, of course I should also explain that uh, we don't ha only have the um, LED ring at the front, but we also have a very thin RGB LED ring at the rear. So uh, okay. that's intended. Well, you don't always see it, but whenever you see it, uh, of course, you want the light to shine through. And is, um, is that unusual? Because most of them, most of the other fans out there, tend to put the light on one side. Uh, there's a, there's a few fans that do have this, but it's not exactly a standard feature, I would say. And uh, the other thing that we also considered is that when you view it from the side. So, for example, when it's on a radiator. Right. Yeah. Uh, and under under the um, on the on the top, for example, um, you can still see the light from the side because the LED ring is a bit elevated. Yeah, I see. So that, that's, uh, that's cool. what we did in in terms of um, well design. Um, then another feature that I would like to show you is. I'm actually using an ARGB hub now because we, we offer these in single and triple packs. Right. Um, let me just uh, move to the side a bit. Show the ARGB hub. So that's uh, this bad boy here, which I have two fans connected to right now. Wait, so the, does that come with the kit or is that something you buy this, extra? Or? This comes with the triple kit, yes. So if you buy the triple kit, uh, that will also include the ARGB hub, where you can connect uh, three ARGB devices on each side. Wow, so you can drive six fans with that one controller. Exactly, and you can sync that up uh, with uh, one cable. Huh. That's the idea. And if you, buy the, if you buy just a single fan, how does that connect to the motherboard? Is it like a standard three you're, or You're taking thing? the words out of my mouth because <laughs> I was just about to explain that. Um, because you can also daisy chain the fans. <clears throat> Get up back to the controller right here. And then here. So both fans are still lighting up. That's a bit off screen here, but um, yeah. in order to show it, I guess I have to unplug it. Um, but yeah, so this is the the uh, connector for one fan, and then you got another connector to daisy chain it as well. So you can also sync it up through daisy chaining. Interesting. So you plug yeah. one end into the one end into the motherboard, and then the other end into the fan, but it has a connector to daisy chain them on from there. Uh, yes, exactly. Um, either the motherboard or if you have an external RGB controller, that's possible as well. What I used here now to demo it because I, it was easier for me to get uh, SATA power extensions than ARGB cable extensions because my computer's about a meter uh, from me and Fernd. To, uh, and Fernd, that was German, sorry. <laughs> a, meter, <laughs> a meter from me. Um, and I don't have any RG, RGB cables that long, so I got SATA extensions, and then I hooked up uh, the uh, ARGB controller from our Silent Wings 2. Um, 
And uh, what I also want to highlight is that, yes, you can hook it up to any odd, odd motherboard. You can control it with any software you like. It's compatible with any five-fold ARGB standard. Um, it's not a proprietary system, which was really important to us. Uh, and yes, that does mean you might not be able to select each LED and when it should light up in which color. But it also gives you the freedom to choose whatever software you where you want, and it doesn't lock you in in a certain ecosystem. Um, so you can also combine it with ARGB components from other companies. That's um, pretty neat. That, that was also very important to us. And so, I mean, there's very sophisticated uh, open source RGB software out there where you can uh, get some pretty amazing effects as well, like uh, Signal RGB. Well, Signal RGB is not exactly open source, I believe, but also something like Open RGB, for example. So if you've got something like, say, a SUS Aura Sync, will it, can that drive it? Uh, what, what was it again? Aura Sync. Aura Sync, yeah, absolutely. Like the standard uh, ASUS RGB software, MSI, SROC, all the motherboards uh, pretty much use the same standard. So that's also easy to sync up. Nice, because I've just got your website up and it's showing, the, um, <clears throat> it's showing that case kind of, which looks really nice, by the way. Yeah. Um, and you can see, like, it's all RGB'd up and synchronized. It looks really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, uh, I don't know how exactly they synced up this case, but I, I would assume they used the ARGB controller for that. Um, not, the, not the controller, the hub, I'm sorry. Okay, so um, we've got a bunch of questions if you want to start taking more. Do you want to carry on talking about yeah, more I'm, stuff? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much done talking. Like, I've explained pretty much everything that's... Uh, important about this so I'm, I'm ready to talk uh, to take questions again that was really fun last right. time to be honest all right so uh retro paul says uh how much difference do the rubber grommets in the mounting holes to fans without yeah that depends on how thick they are and how soft um for example in our silent wings 3 series um those do make quite a big of a big of a difference uh, these fans, I mean, I don't have the ARGB activated anymore, but you can still see, see these rubber grommets. Uh, this time, uh, you might notice we're not even mentioning that in our um, marketing material because the, they are not very thick, they're fairly hard, so they don't have that much of an ef effect. Um, but um, they can have an effect if you um, do it right and uh, invest a bit more money into those. Okay. Uh, Mumbles Meek says, are those fans single pole? Single pole. Yeah, I'm not sure what he means exactly by that. Maybe Mumbles oh, can come you... back and explain a bit more. How do you spell that? Pole? Like P-O-L-E. Single pole. I mean, I can Google it and then single pole. Single pole switch can operate one circuit. I'm not sure. I'm okay. not sure what he means by that, to be honest. M Mumbles can uh, rephrase the I, question then. I didn't encounter this term before. Okay. Uh, so Retropol says, what is the lifetime of the fans and do the grooves make a big difference? Uh, so the lifetime uh, is uh, around 60,000 hours. Um, that's mainly due to the um, lifetime of the LEDs. Uh, they are probably, if you actually keep them running as long, uh, they're probably the first to go because the um, bearing is uh, probably holding up much longer. Yeah, so basically the lights will break before the fan itself does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, usually that is the case. Uh, Castle Flint says, how are the blades designed? Is it a computer modeling the airflow or try and test it out or both? Uh, it's I would say a bit of both plus experience. Our engineers know what to do uh, to achieve a certain uh, outcome. And then from there, it's pretty much trial and error. So okay. we do a lot of testing and different scenarios on an on a air cooler, on, on a radiator, um, freestanding as well. We built them into PC case and see how the performance changes compared to other fans. So, yeah, it's, it's just a lot of testing. And then, of course, the experience uh, plays a big role as well. Get your questions in chat, guys. 
Uh, Tech Neil says, will they be available in white? That's also a question I have encountered <laughs> quite often. Uh, the truth is, at the moment, we have no plans of releasing them in white, but um, I don't know. Maybe if more people ask, uh, we may be convinced to change our mind. Didn't we have that uh, same question last time we were talking about your stuff and somebody said, oh, are they available in white? And you said, yeah, but the actual sales percentage is so small, it's not worth us making. Yeah, yeah like, um, I mean... We do have white fans, the Shadow Wings 2, and their sales dwarf in comparison to the black version. Uh, in cases, uh, the picture is a little bit different. Uh, because, like, for example, the Pure Base 500DX is available in white and also black, and the Silent Base 802 as well, where the split is around 60 40 or 70 30 in favor of black. So, um, but it, in, in regards to fans, uh, the sales dwarfed the sales of the black version. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the the more people uh, tell us that they want white fans, uh, the sooner we can probably be convinced to actually make them. I mean, like what, white PCs and white cases and stuff—they look amazing when they're new, but then over time, the dirt and the dust gets on them. The they're a real pain to clean, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't exactly put them in a smoke uh, in, in the person uh, in, in the room of a smoker. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they would probably turn yellow fairly soon. But um, no, I mean, there, there is an appeal to white systems uh, and all white systems as well um, that I can definitely see. But uh, yeah, it's 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 a bit of uh, like the um, yeah who who starts making white products. Um, because if you have a white case, you also need a white motherboard, you need a white graphics card. And especially in the graphics card field, you don't really have that much of a choice right now. Mm. Um, so that probably contributes to the poor sales of our white fans as well, that uh, there's also not so many other components available to match that, uh, well, match the white, white overall design. Yeah, true. Um, so it's it's really a question of who starts really going all in. Is it us? Is it the graphics card uh, manufacturers, the mainboard manufacturers? And well, we're a bit hesitant at the moment. A question from uh, Independence is: How much smaller is the RGB compared to the non-RGB? Uh, well, I would say the LED ring has a well, probably around eight. Seven to eight millimeters, I guess. Right, and so, that doesn't sound much, but it can can be quite a difference. Yeah, it probably a certain percentage less airflow, isn't there? Uh, yeah, I I don't know how much less it is, and again, we counter this with the higher RPM. Um, and well, tech from a technological standpoint, these fans um do have a some things that the Pure Wings 2, for example, don't have, like the, uh, we, we managed to reduce the um, distance between the fan blades and the outer frame by a fair bit, which also helps with airflow and uh, static pressure. So, um, but yeah, still, uh, it, it can't quite hold up if, if you normalize, or if you run a uh, RPM normalized test. So these fans, are they meant to be used on radiators or on cases, or can you use them on both? Yeah, we, we have two different versions, the seven blade version and the nine blade high speed version. Uh, and the high speed version is really what you want to put on your radiator. Is that on the website? Can I show that? Uh, it should all? be. Uh, and the beauty is uh, both both the seven blade and nine blade high speed version uh, cost exactly the same. So you don't even have to pay a premium. You can really go, uh, you can really decide do I only use this as a case fan? Do I even need the high RPM? Uh, if not, you can go with the uh, seven blade version, which also does have a bit of a nicer um, noise profile, I guess. Like uh, the sound is a bit different if you have uh, seven blades than uh, compared to the nine blade version. Um, but uh, yeah, the video stops when I tab over to the browser. <laughs> if if I I don't know why, but I think what happens is if I if I change the browser so I can look around, 
the Discord window goes in the background, and then Discord goes, oh, I don't need to play the video because you, you're not watching it, right? <laughs> and then he just freezes it and no longer captures. It's annoying. Yeah, don't worry. There's nothing broken. I'm trying to find the 5 and 7 blade variants actually on the website. I'm just wondering um, it is. You can find that if you click on products, fans, and then light wings, and there's going to be the uh, regular PWM versions and the PWM high speed. I'm not sure if you can see that on the landing page. No, I've got Silent no, Wings think... 3, Shadow Wings 2, Light Wings, and Pure. Pure wings yeah, and 2. if you navigate to the Light Wings, it's going to show you all the eight different versions, eight different SKUs that we have. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it. It's just taking me to the same page. Oh, if if you use the navigation at the very top. Yeah, so I choose uh, products, fans, and then light wings. Yes. Uh, and just click on that, yeah? Yeah. And it just keeps me on the same page that I'm on. Does? Um, or am I doing something wrong? How about the direct <laughs> link that I just sent you? <laughs> Does that work, or does it also send you to the same page? Okay, now I'm on that page. Yeah, I couldn't get to that before. Okay, yeah, so now we've got Light Wings, PWM High Speed, 120 mil. Yeah, exactly. I can't navigate. This is frustrating. I can't navigate the website without freezing you on the video. <laughs> I need to work out how to get Discord not to do this. That's one for next time. But okay, people oh, can look fine. around that. Um, we can we can throw that in chat as well. Hang on. Yeah, if one of your mods up. Go. You, you already did it. Chat. Perfect. Um, let's go back. I don't need a new light. I just have my light uh, lights out so you could see the RGB effect. Uh, if you want, I can just uh, turn on the lights in my room and you can see me better. And yeah, I might not look as creepy anymore. Give me a second. Martin dimmed the lights so we could see the RGB stuff. Like, that literally did it for that reason. <laughs> That's why it looks grainy. There you, there you go. Now you look magnificent. So it's it's not exactly studio lighting, but uh, still look a lot better, I guess. Well, you're not a streamer, so you're not expected to have studio lighting. But I do have a streamer like microphone. <laughs> <laughs> um, have we got any more questions? Uh, did I ask this one? What kind of bearings do you use in the fan? That was from Mister the White. Uh, yeah, it's a rifle bearing, so uh, pretty much the standard uh, long. Well, standard bearing with long longevity, uh, but of course not not as good as uh, the the bearing that we use in our silent wings. Up to, um... But it's it's the same bearing, basically, or similar bearing to the one that we use in pure wing series. Did you want to mention this thing at the bottom of your website? Um, where's it gone? This competition thing. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, if there's no no more questions. Well, we're not getting any more questions coming through at the moment, unless you guys have got any more. Well, I mean, first of all, I guess we can say that uh, we're giving away some fans to your viewers at the end of the stream. Um, and uh, if if you're not lucky enough to win one there, you can go to our website, which is, uh, well, maybe you can post that as well. I'm just sending it to you. Uh, so if you don't win any fans here, um, we're also raffling out uh, more fans on our website. That's a global contest. It's still running for two more days. So you got to be a bit quick to fill out everything. Um, and yeah, maybe you're one of the lucky ones. Um, I did see another question from Firefighter21. Yep. He's asking if the ARGB hub, so... Where did that put it? Yeah. So this thing, uh, whether it's a 
converter from a from RGB to ARGB. And no, it is not. It is only taking the um, ARGB signal and splits it into six up to six different ARGB signals. Right, so he can just plug that straight into his motherboard, can he? Yeah, but the motherboard, of course, needs a, um, well, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, this connector here, the three pin, five volt ARGB connector. Right, that makes sense. And hello, 73 asks if we have an OnlyFans page. <laughs> Funny you mentioned that. Uh, I, I uh, suggested that internally. Uh, uh, we could. Uh, we could, um, yeah, open an OnlyFans page for Be Quiet and then show lewd pictures of fans and only fans. Um, <laughs> but the idea was rejected. Oh, oh man, the people in charge just got no <laughs> sense of humor, have they? <laughs> oh, it'd be an amazing OnlyFans page. <laughs> yeah, it, it would. I, I would have enjoyed the word. It, I don't know. It would probably be go uh, be good for about two weeks. Then after that, pro pro probably slowly die. Yeah, yeah. But imagine, I can imagine it's the kind of thing that would go viral. Like you just get a massive flash of interest in the whole thing. Uh yeah, yeah. I guess so. Well, now that we've uh, talked about it in public, I guess that's <laughs> that's not happening oh, anymore. God. But uh, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Um, right, guys, have we got any more questions for Martin about the uh, Lightwings um, product? Or any other released? topic, any, anything else that interests you regarding, uh, well, power supplies, cooling, PC cooling, PC cases. Uh, it doesn't have to be related to these fans. I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. Yeah, I mean, we well, obviously the last stream, probably some people have some questions after that that they thought of if you've got questions guys check them in the chat now and martin can answer them for you yeah i'll i'll uh, monitor it a bit um with the first uh, okay we got a question from crow daddy 64 what are the these fans best for intake outtake on red um is this is, is, is that I'm a question assuming about you push mean pull? a push pull uh configuration I'm not sure we tested that, but I would assume the high speed version is probably best for that, especially if you have a high fin density. Uh, slim fans for small form factor cases. No, we don't have slim fans. We don't have any slim fans, actually. Um, because, uh, well, uh, we're following the main standard and slim fans. Um, are not able to perform as well, unfortunately. Um, so that's a market we're currently not catering for. I mean, same as, for example, there's wider fans as well, uh, like 30 millimeter fans that are performing really well, but are a bit thicker than the standard. Um, so no, unfortunately, no slim fans at the moment. Um, Mr. What? The Wise Man is asking uh, what new cases we can look forward to from Be Quiet, and he <laughs> would like to see a refresh or new version of the Darkbase Pro 900. Um, how do I put this? Well, we didn't release a new fan, a new case this year, so I guess we should release a new case next year. Is is all I'm going to say about that? Um, Teaser. <laughs> our products are available in the UK. You can tackle Barry seven seven seven. We have a distributor that we work with. We also ship directly to scan and overclockers for example um but you can also find that find find our product at uh, ccl or any other um aria pc gladiator pc um don't want to name anyone specifically but um they are shipped from the uk so they are already imported if if that was uh the goal of your question so a question from cool tigers reality just a thought, will the light wings be paired with an AIO in the future? Um, I mean, now that we have an ARGB fan, uh, there's a plethora of things we can do with that. Uh, so we can slap that on other products, and that is potentially something we'll be looking at in the future, yes. Um, Pep86 so, says, do you have a distributor in Canada and or the US? Yes to both. In Canada, we work 
directly with Canada Computer. Uh, in the US, we work with NUAC, um, but also with a different distribution company who are also pushing our products to Amazon and other smaller shops, of course. And there's also specialty shops like Mod My Mods, for example, um, where you can also buy our products. And more from Crow Daddy 64 will these uh, be available in Australia? Uh, they already are. Um, in Australia, I believe you can probably get them at PC Case Gear, at M-Wave, at, um, they will soon be available at Scorptech, I believe. And uh, UMarch should also have them already. Uh, and a question about ARGB from Abhinav says, what does ARGB mean? Is it related to RGB? Uh, yes, it is very closely related. Um, the A stands for addressable, which means, um, well, with a standard RGB fan, you can change the color, but then all the LEDs have the same color. With an ARGB fan, you can get this unicorn sick effect with a rotating uh, with, with rotating effect as well. Um, so you can basically tell each LED, uh, you can address each LED, LED and tell it um, how it should um, light up. Uh, and Kendall Gaming says, do you have distributors in New Zealand? In New Zealand, I know we're working with PV Tech, but I don't know if they have our fans in stock already. Can't I just get stuff from Australia, or is that a dumb question? <laughs> uh, I don't know too much about <laughs> that region. Uh, I'd imagine you could. Um, I don't know if it's the same custom zone, to be honest. Yeah, apparently you can, according to some people in chat. <laughs> PB Tech has them on the website, says Rob. Yeah, and uh, Mechanic5458 five, five, is... Uh, Impressed that I know all these companies. Well, that's because um, I'm not only doing marketing for the UK for Be Quiet, I'm the uh, team leader of our country marketing team. So I talk to all my colleagues. Um, and so I, I hear things. Yeah. And that's also how I know our, most of our customer names in our main sales regions. Cool. So, how long has it taken to get these um, Lightwings fans? Like when when did the product development start for us? Is this like well, a multi year thing? Or? <laughs> uh, this is going to be a bit of a self burn, but uh, considering how long a ARGB fans have been on the market, uh, it took us quite a while. Um, I would say the actual uh, development time from the initial idea to the release took us maybe about two years. Wow. Any idea like what it is you want to focus on next in terms of like a product you don't make, anything you're thinking of doing? A new product category. And considering well, all the I... things you've got, I'm just wondering like, you know, you're sort of thinking, oh, we should do something in this market or, you know, what, what are you thinking? Yeah. About? Yeah. So the thing is, uh, I know that currently we don't have any concrete plans, so I can just tell you what I believe we should make without yep. give, giving anything away. Uh, I think um, there, there is definitely an opportunity for Be Quiet keyboards uh, because uh, the silent aspect can play a role here. Uh, you could make a really nice uh, aluminum, uh, brushed aluminum cover uh, keyboard, for example, with Cherry MX silent uh, switches, which would be the perfect uh, combination of, of two German hardware brands. Um, which I would personally really like to see, but um, I can only say that because there's no concrete plans to do that. Well, Dave's your man for keyboards, isn't he? He'll give you all the advice you need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're just like, don't put any Very letters true. on them. Hmm. Uh, saw some questions. Hang on. Oh, there's more questions coming, yeah. Uh, I just need to scroll back. Tech Neil says, does the ARGB hub have any threaded inserts for screwing, fixing it into the 500DX, for example, or is it a case of sticking it in place? Uh, yes, both. So you have screw holes that fit a standard SSD um, slot. 
uh, screws are also included in the box. And there's also a double-sided tape, so you can stick it anywhere you like. Uh, what does PWM stand for? What is the difference between non-PWM and with PWM, says Kalaran? So PWM uh, stands for Pulse Width Modulation, and that means it has a four-pin cable. Um, the fourth pin is for the PWM signal, so basically that means... Okay, this is, this is going to be a bit of a rough explanation. Um, but basically, to reduce or control the speed of a, a standard 3-pin fan, you have to reduce the voltage. So at 12 volts, for example, it will run at 100% and will run slower at 9 volts or 5 volts. For the PWM fan, the, um, the um, voltage is always 12 volt, and uh, the speed is controlled via pulse with pulse width modulation. Uh, which is supported by most motherboards. It's just easier to control the speed with PWM compared to 3-pin. There are some motherboards out there that have 3-pin uh, headers, um, which also support uh, voltage control, but not all motherboards do. There you go. Um, are you thinking of doing LED strips, or is that not under the Be Quiet brand? Uh, we do have LED strips in some of our products. Um, for example, in the PureBase 500DX or in the um, Pure ba uh, DarkBase, DarkBase uh, Pro 900. Um, but standalone LED strips uh, is not on the agenda right now. Uh, Crowdy says, what is the availability of these fans with Corona? Is there any delay in making them? Well, delay is in transportation. Uh, the uh, production is pretty much on uh, yeah pretty much on at one one hundred percent already um but yeah some some ports are close to due to corona for example i mean the largest trade port in the world in china was closed uh, a few months ago um which didn't affect us because we were shipping from a different port but um it of course uh, affects the well global logistics uh, situation quite a bit Fair enough. Uh, Kamikaze says, any chance of doing mice and or trackball controllers? Um, mice? I, can, I can't see why not. Uh, we could do that. Again, I'm able to speak openly about that because we don't have any concrete plans to do that. Uh, I'm not giving away any secrets. Um, trackball controllers, honestly, I don't really see a big market for that. It would be quite a novelty product that's quite a small market personally i i feel like the be quiet brand is about being quiet so and my mouse doesn't really make a noise maybe the yeah with, with the keyboard you can kind of argue yeah. uh it does make sense because especially with mechanical keyboards uh some of them do make quite quite the noise uh but with mice i mean if if you're making keyboards you can also also make mice it just makes sense but uh yeah, the the connection to the brand name and the core brand values is not really there. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, cases, power supplies, fans, all that definitely fits under Be Quiet, I think. No. Right, guys, have got any more questions? Last call, final call for questions. <laughs> uh, passionate puppy, what about Be Quiet socks? I'm pretty certain he didn't put that. Socks. I think Alex probably put that for puppies. Wait, socks for what? Socks for puppies? I think he wants socks with the Be Quiet logo on it. I think Alex is trolling. Oh. Well, I mean, I'll I'll relay that to one of my colleagues, and then maybe next time I'm here, we can give give some away. <laughs> I don't know. We'll <laughs> see. Be Quiet socks, amazing. I mean, right. We have... We have all kinds of Be Quiet stuff. We have uh, these uh, wonderful sweatshirts. Uh, we have um, Christmas. We have uh, Be Quiet um, Advent calendars. Uh, we have Be Quiet package openers. Uh, we have a lot of merchandise, so why not socks? We have even baby bodies. Like, really? Yeah. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> so so if Mini Squirrel is on the way, you let me know. I must admit, I really like the idea of like... Uh a baby's t-shirt that says be quiet on it like 
you know, that's just amazing because babies make a lot of noise, right? So just put this thing on that says, be quiet. Yeah, the, the thing about the baby body is it only fits the baby for like a couple of weeks and then it's yeah. grown out of it. Yep, that's what babies do best, just grow out of stuff. <laughs> um, I think we're all done on the questions there, Martin. Um, so if there's nothing else you want to do, we could move on to the uh, giveaway side of things. Uh, I did see one more question from Segamo Wasabi, uh, where we sell the clothing. Unfortunately, we don't sell the clothes. Um, we're thinking about uh, opening a spare parts shop where we could also integrate uh, merchandise. But at the moment, uh, raffles are pretty much the only way to get our merchandise. So uh, if if you guys really like to see merchandise, I mean, I can I can throw in some merch uh, on today's raffle if if, uh, if you want. Um, I just uh, I guess I can I guess we can we can just add a bit of merch, uh, undisclosed merchandise to each of the yeah. packages. I'm uh, awesome. Each of these five <laughs> five sets we're giving away today. Uh, I'll I'll need to check what exactly we have, but uh, we have some really nice stuff and. Uh, Maybe the winners can can tweet you some of their uh, some of their merch, and you can share it, Paul, or something like that. Yeah, that'd be cool. uh, so the others can know what what they might expect, <laughs> what yeah. they might be able to expect next time I'm here. <laughs> Seems like there's a bit of a demand for be quiet merchandise. Yeah, and I mean we we put a lot of effort in our merchandise, and it's a bit of a pity that we uh, don't make the most of it yet. So. Uh, I, I want to give more of that away um, because it's usually high quality stuff that I like using myself and that my colleagues are like to like to use as well. Uh, yeah. I don't like cheap, you know, they get cheap merch where it's just like the quality of it's not good. What you, what I like in good merch is like really high quality clothing items, like the thick material solidly made. And then you just feel like, yeah, this is actually a really nice item to have. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, we do have big white gingerbread cookies. So I guess I could throw in some of these, and then maybe also a T-shirt or something like that. I'll I'll see what I can find. Gingerbread cookies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As a German brand, uh, I mean, in Germany, gingerbread is very popular around Christmas time. Did not know that. <laughs> cool. Right. Um, let's do the giveaway bit now. So I need to first of all enable enable the channel points. Um, could one of the mods let me know if the channel point thing has shown up? Hope this works. <laughs> it is up right. Uh, do you want to run the giveaway command then, mods, and uh, so people can start entering and stuff? Yeah, and to be on the safe side, as I said, I, I can't promise you yet what kind of merch I throw in uh, to the mix. But if you want to be sure, please, uh, if you are one of the winners, give the mods your um, T-shirt size as well. Yeah, so if you give Martin t mods, when you ask the question, whoever the winners are, ask him for T-shirt size in case Martin can get any T-shirts. Uh, but yeah, subs you get, you got free entry subs. Otherwise, you just use channel points to um, enter. You can use as many entries as you want. It's up to you. Oh, and um, to tease you about the gingerbread cookies, uh, they are actually branded Balsen gingerbread cookies. I don't know if you if you guys know Balsen in the UK. Uh, branded what? Sorry, Balsen is the name of the company that makes these cookies. Don't know that company. It's uh, in Germany. It's a extremely popular cookie company. <laughs> they make these uh, butter cookies that are very popular, and they are also making our gingerbread cookies. Nice. So the good then, basically, is what you're saying. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I was about with. Uh, well, that, that's that's what I said regarding uh, high quality merch. <laughs> Someone said, oh, yes, that's Mercedes-level cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Just fitting for Mercedes-level power supplies. Yep. 
Well, it looks like people are entering. Lots of people uh, entering the giveaway. So far, we have 221 entries. Which means people are going to have to get lucky. Well, well, yeah. I mean, we, we do have a few more kits to give away on our website. So uh, even if you're not lucky now, maybe you're lucky in two two more days. One point three million peanuts. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'll give you another couple of minutes just to get your entries in. If you got any questions. Good luck, because I'll probably won't see them flying past. <laughs> yeah, some people had over a million channel points, so they're quite happy to buy a few tickets. Hilaren asked if I if if they could also get the one forty millimeter variant. If you want a different version of the fan, you can let the mods know if. We can, we will accommodate, but no promises. Did you get that mod? Um, just ask for the size of fan they want. Yeah. Um, and Martin like, will try and. Uh, they're, they're selling out pretty quickly from, from our warehouse in Germany. So I, I have reserved five 120 millimeter triple packs. Um, so I can't promise you that I'll be able to get a 140 before Christmas. Uh, but if I can. And you want it, um, we can accommodate. Just saw a question fly past about um, somebody watched the Jay's Two Cents video and is the shroud metal? The I, shroud? I think, I think was the question. Uh, I'm wondering what I you mean, mean by that. The frame is plastic. Um, I mean, metal would be quite heavy. So um, you don't want your fan to be heavy, usually. So the only metal, I guess, is the bearing and the wires. Pog, I think you'd need to look at the website that you want to get it from. Oh, someone asked about the MSRP, and uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot to mention that. Um, uh, by heart, I know the. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna look it up, so I can also give you the dollar and maybe even UK, uh, British pound. MSRP. So the single packs, the single 120 millimeter packs, both high speed and uh, regular PWM, are priced at around uh, 23 euros or 27 dollars or 23 pounds. The 140 millimeter versions are for 24 euros, uh, 30 dollars or 25 pounds. And the triple packs are priced at 60, uh, 70 euros uh, or 80 dollars or 60 pounds for the 120 millimeter versions and the 140 millimeter versions are priced at 37 euros 85 dollars and 66 pounds that's of course the msrp uh, if you're living in germany uh, you'll probably be able to get them a lot cheaper uh, in in the uk they're probably priced around the msrp and uh, we feel we are pretty much in line with prices of other ARGB fans. Uh, so that's, that's, of course, cheaper fans you can get, but there's also a lot uh, more expensive fans out there. So kind of middle of the road. Yeah, Martin froze because I was tabbed out trying to... I'm trying to work out why OBS is not capturing the website anymore. It's just decided to give up on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, yeah, it says this page not unintentionally left blank. Yeah, that's my that that's the that's my background picture that I have when there's nothing else on the screen. Because um, mm -hmm. normally, you know, at the back of a book or front of a book, you'll have a page that mm -hmm. says this page intentionally left blank. Uh, mm -hmm. So I've got this page not unintentionally left blank, which is a double negative. <laughs> So it's just like a weird joke of mine. But the point is that if you're seeing that, it means you're not seeing some content that you should be seeing. <laughs> it's not capturing the browser. I don't know why. Hmm. Uh, someone asked if, if there's any esports teams that use our products. Um, we're not really a big esports sponsor. 
Um, but for example, the I think it's Danish team, uh, the Blue Jays team is using our products. And uh, a kamikaze pug asked uh, how they compare with noise and performance from Silent Wing 3. Um, the light wings are pretty much in the middle uh, between Pure Wings 2 and Silent Wings 3. So if you're all about performance and really don't care about any lighting, uh, I, I would still recommend the Silent Wings fans. But if you say, uh, well, I, I like I like lights on a fan, and the compromise I'm uh, agreeing to shouldn't be as as big. Uh, I I don't want to give up too much of my performance or silence. Then I think the light wings light wings should be a very good choice. Why is this not working? And. Don't take it from me. Please do your own research. Uh, check out uh, the coverage that's out there. Um, Jay's Two Cents, he's pretty much done an unboxing of the fans, uh, has given his personal point of view. But there's also um, other reviews out there that uh, tested, properly tested the performance of the fans. For example, on uh, from top of my head, Tech, Tech Power Up did that, for example. Or Egos Lab, uh, formerly Tom Sardberg, Ger uh, Germany, um, who also have a an English presence. Yeah, sorry, I can't get it to fly. OBS is not capturing the browser anymore. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, we can we can push on and draw some winners now because we've had quite a few uh, entries here. We've got over five hundred and forty <laughs> entries. <laughs> wow. So okay. almost every viewer has entered, basically. Well, or some, some, are... some viewers might have entered uh, yeah. multiple times. Yeah, they have. But I think, guys, you need to uh, wind it up now because we need to draw some winners here. <laughs> so we'll give it like another 30 seconds. I suppose I could just disable the channel point entry. That will stop people entering. All right, so just to tell you the way it's going to work, guys, is I can't obviously show you me drawing the names because it it actually will pull out your email address and stuff. So I, I can't show you who's being drawn as winners, but I can tell you the name, and then I'll give that name to the mods. And what you then need to do if your name comes up is whisper one of the mods to say, yeah, I'm here, and then they'll ask you for some details that Martin needs to um, send the fans over to you. And all that information is treated in confidence, obviously, but just to reiterate it. Um, so yeah, you will need to be here. You know, don't do, don't enter a giveaway and just disappear because we need information from you like now. So stick around, basically. Yeah, and I'll send out the fans tomorrow. There you go. What about that fast dispatch in time for Christmas, eh? <laughs> it's also <laughs> right. Then let's uh, let's draw some winners, shall we? Uh, so, right, I'm going to begin drawing winners now, guys. So probably best if you stop entering just so that, you know, you don't waste any points. Um, but yeah, we'll draw the first winner. Let's bring up Discord here. Um, right. Right then, first winner is... Uh, when it's to draw, let's draw one. Okay, it is Jail Rabbit, by the look of it. Jail Rabbit, you have uh, won the first one. Jail Rabbit. Yeah, Jail Rabbit. Hopefully, he's in chat. You in chat, sir? J Rabbit or Jail? J J O J O A O rabbit. Oh, okay. Thought what was the rabbit doing in jail? There you go. Right, I've given that name to the mods so um, they can verify you properly. If you want to whisk, whisper, um, pups, congratulations, sir! You've won the first one. Um, Pups, if you could just let me know when you've been in touch and it's confirmed, and then I, I don't read, don't need to redraw, basically. Right, I've, second... I've seen him. I've seen him in, in chat already. So, 
let's do number two. Right, second one is Matt X eighty three. Oh, Matt. Con congrats, Matt X thirty three. I hope he's in chat. Matt X thirty three. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, that's looking good as well. Nice. Yeah, if you could whisper pups, you'll get your details. And then we can confirm you're uh, a winner. Right, we'll draw number three. Third winner being drawn. Uh, the third one is from Tagarung007. So a bit of a Bond thing going on there. Well, con congrats, Tagarung. Are you in chat, Mr. Tagarung? Not responding yet. I'll press on and draw the fourth one. A winner number one is confirmed. That was Jail Rabbit. He's confirmed now. Uh, winner number four is El Plagiato. Seen that name in chat a few times already today. Congrats. Yep. El Plagiato is there in chat. Any word from Tagarung yet? Uh, yeah, he's posted uh, as well. Okie doke. And let's draw the last one. Well, we think is the last one. <laughs> now you have dinner with pups. You don't want that, mate. <laughs> right. The fifth winner is Voltinbell. Voltinbell. I'll post that in chat. Oh, congrats. Voltinbell there here is he there so the five names that are drawn are is jo rabbit matt x83 tagarung 007 el plagiato and voltinbal uh, but you must now whisper uh, pups just to confirm that you're here and he can ask you for some details otherwise if you're not here you don't respond to him then we will be drawing a different winner and please don't forget to give your t-shirt size. And if you want anything else than the 120 millimeter version of these triple pack fans, uh, tell the mods as well. Yep. So far we have two confirmed winners. I'm just waiting for pups to acknowledge more. Uh, Volting Bell isn't auto completing in chatty. Hmm. So is he not in chat then? Okay, El Plagiato is confirmed. So we've got three out of five so far. Yeah, I don't I've know. Seen, oh, I've seen Tegarung, but uh, yeah, thought in ball. Maybe we need to redraw. Uh, so Tagarung is confirmed. So we're just, just Volting Bell now. I think we might have to re, redraw. Timbal, I can only accept it from the actual account that's won. I'm sorry, but them's the rules, mate. If if you're on that account and you can whisper back to the mods, that's fine. But that's the only way we're going to do it. Could be an old name. I don't know why it's drawn it then. Why it would have an, in, an entry from that old name. Mm, I think we're unfortunately, Timbal, we're going to have to draw another winner. Yeah, it could be linked from his Gleam account. I don't know. Um, you might have to sever the connection to your Gleam account and reestablish it. Maybe. Yeah. That it, that changes it. 
It's obviously not picked up a Twitch uh, rename or something. Yeah. Um, sorry about that, but we will have to draw another winner, I think. Must be a way to confirm it's his account. I don't know how, Captain Flint. Actually, if you, Timble, if you whis whisper on mod, and if your email and country matches, we'll take it. That's probably the best, because your email won't have changed, will it? So whisper pups and tell True. him what your email address is, and if it matches the one we've got here, along with the country you're from, we'll take that. Otherwise, we'll have to um, redraw. I think that's fair. That's a good point, yeah. Well, and um, if you're not one of these five winners when they're all confirmed, uh, maybe, I don't know, can I can I post links in chat as well, or will they be um, deleted? We can permit you, and gone. So, on. Okay, I already posted the link. That appeared to I, don't know. I think you should have sub it, allowed it anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I am sub. So you, you got given uh, a sub uh, right at the start of this. Somebody gave you a sub. I think it was Benner, maybe, gave you a sub. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I did get a, get a sub. So, if you've got uh, those emotes to use, Martin, all through December, you can go around Twitch now using those amazing squirrel emotes. Wow. I, I think I was already Twitched with my uh, Prime. So <laughs> sell out. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, on on that page, I'll I'll link it again. Um, you can find out more information about our brand new Lightwings ARGB fans. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can also enter a global giveaway um, where you can uh, win. Either if you already won, you can win more of these fans, or if you were not as lucky, you can try your luck again. Uh, and maybe they'll be with you before Christmas as well. Yeah, I think, um, was he saying it was closing in two days' time? Uh, it's closing on the 7th, December 7th. At, I believe it was midnight. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, yes, December 7th at midnight Central European time. So that's GMT. Why is it GMT plus T? So that's it plus two. I'm always getting confused with the. Well, it shouldn't uh, time be zones. now. It should be plus one because we're back in. <laughs> it should week. be plus one. That should be midnight. So maybe it's open until one a.m. on December eighth. <laughs> I don't exactly know. Don't take your chances. <laughs> you probably Enter got... as soon as you can. I reckon whoever set it up set it up while it was in summertime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's possible. As I said, we had a lot of delays with this launch, so it might have been set up when we were still in summertime. Um, I think we're still waiting for a, for a, um, Timbal, so I think we're going to have to draw another winner here. Oh, apparently, hang on, his email matches. No, we've got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we got it. Yeah, awesome. all five. Congrats, congrats, Volton Ball or Tin Tinball was the name. Yep, Timbal plays. I think it was. Well, also cool. we could get that verified. Great stuff, um, Martin. Thanks for for coming in and showing us the the light wings i think they look amazing yeah thanks thanks for having me again i had an absolute blast uh being here uh thank you for asking all your awesome questions uh i'm i'm sure i'll be back and uh to answer more questions um i'm sure you will it's a pity with like all this covid if nonsense is running otherwise we could do something like much cooler like you know stream a, a oh, build yeah. of a pc or something like that yeah i would love to come over to the uk one sometime or invite you to our office in in uh, germany yeah uh well we'll see we'll see where it leads us i guess yeah we'll see what happens but there's, there's cool things we can do when we can actually travel <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> All right, um, thank brilliant. you very much again. Yes. Yeah, it's brilliant, uh, guys. Can we get some uh, GGs or some love in chat for Martin for coming in today and uh, thank showing you very us, much, showing us his cool stuff for um, your warm welcome once again. Uh, be quiet, a, a great brand. Martin's a cool guy, as I'm sure you've already seen, and um, 
it's great that Makes he's come on blush. give us <laughs> giving away <laughs> some great fans for you guys as well and don't forget to add our, to to enter our giveaway yes yes absolutely if you didn't win today there is a giveaway running on the be quiet website right at the bottom of the page just enter that if you want to win some yeah my my performance is measured by how many people are uh, coming to that <laughs> giveaway page from Twitch today. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, hit it up with all the bots. <laughs> no, not really, but no, it's a great that. opportunity. So. <laughs> okay. Thank uh, you. Take care, everyone. Yeah. Goodbye. Thanks, Martin. See you soon. Right. Guys, I'm going to take a break now. Thank you to the mods um, for uh, steering us through that. And uh, I'll be back uh, just after four. I'm going to go and get some food now. I can't believe, I don't know why OBS stopped capturing that window. I don't, I don't understand what it just did there. It just suddenly gave up on it. So, yeah, whatever. We've got our winners. Uh, I'm going to go get some food, and then we'll be back with some more teardown. We're going to carry on with the fun in about an hour's time. So, yeah, hope you enjoy your break. And... Um, Congrats to the winners again, and I shall see you all in an hour's time. If not, if you're heading out, we'll have a good Sunday. Thanks for watching so far. But the rest of you, take it easy, guys. See you in a bit. Bye for now.